They say show business is an overcrowded profession, and it is. But in some branches, there's always plenty of work if you've got the ability. Dancers, for example, can usually find a spot somewhere if they're good and if they're prepared to work hard. A dancer's life is a hard one, although once they've been bitten by the showbiz bug, girls like these wouldn't swap careers for anything. Actually, this glamorous group come from, as their badges indicate, London's Windmill Theatre and Murray's Cabaret Club. However, the girls are certainly not planning a joint dance routine. In fact, that graceful action has nothing to do with choreography. It's part of their training for a competition in which they'll be rivals. The sport, 10-pin bowling. Their goal, championship of a proposed showgirls league. Windmill captain Denise Warren tries a bowling ball for size because the finger holds vary in the same way as the weight of them ranges from 16 pounds down to 10 pounds for children. Professional advice comes from Doug Lyons, chief coach at ABC's Leytonstone Bowl, and it's needed because although the idea is basically to score as many points as possible by knocking down the pins, knocking down all 10 being called a strike, the game is a lot more complex than it might seem. With bowling still in its infancy over here, we nevertheless already take for granted ingenious bits of mechanism that automatically reset the pins and return the ball along the 60-foot lanes, ready for play again. A far cry from one version of the game played by the early Egyptians 7,000 years ago. This American sport developed from nine pins, the story being that the tenth pin was added to overcome a law banning nine pins as a gambling menace. One of the potential stars of the Cabaret Club team is Bella Sheriff, who comes from Tangier. Just watch that form. Oh, with the ten pins. The number of women playing grows every week, most of them having found a pleasant way of exercising. And if they look anything like this lot, no matter how crowded it gets, they can always get a lane. The men just stand around and watch.